we're going for with Space Marine is really a huge, epic experience. Everybody who makes a game is really hoping in some ways that eventually they're going to be making movies that they can play. And Space Marine is very much an evolution of that. We learn from the movie industry when we make video games. We figure out the key tenets of those stories, the things that really resonate with people and then really use action and those awesome, awe-inspiring moments to really drive people through the narrative. Was that supposed to hurt? At the heart of the cinematic approach that we've taken with Space Marine is this idea that we have, which we call play the story, which is essentially, you know, we want the player to experience the story firsthand when they're in control. We're having you step into the screen. You're, you're walking into the blockbuster. We wanted the major action beats to be something the player was going to experience himself. He was going to play through them. Chaos Demons! How is this possible? When it comes to sound design, the most important thing for us was to communicate the epic scale of this world, was to make this world come to life. Power is great. Sound makes everything come to life. It makes things feel the way they feel. It makes the world feel huge. It makes the bolter powerful and intimidating. In the rail car scene, we start with basically the environmental sound. So on that, you're on a huge train, basically the size of an aircraft carrier. The train's moving at high speed, and you've got a bunch of things whizzing by. So we've got sounds on all those things whizzing by, so you hear them going by. We've got that mixed in with the wind, the train sound, the combat. And then we've also got particular spots on the train where you're enclosed, you've got a metal roof over you. Uh, so when we go in there, we've got extra wind sound that sound like a wind tunnel. Just to create that realistic effect. One of the things that's a bit unusual about this project is that we're gonna be recording a real live orchestra. You get way more dynamics, you get a much better real sound. The orchestra comes to life when it's a real orchestra, where it can sound static and stale if it's if it's a synth orchestra. Worry not, Captain. I've saved some orcs for you. I think the, the people that are experienced with action adventure titles, third person shooters and melee games, I think the, that player will get something out of it. I think uh, 40k fans are going to love this title and I also think that just the average gamer that might pick up this title and have not played one of these genres before, I think they're going to enjoy it as well. This is a triple A entertainment product and all the things that you love in core games, the combat, the action, are in this game and more. It's got it all. It is that complete Hollywood package. You will have the moments of you know, pure adrenaline and excitement where you're in the heat of the battle, there's action set pieces, but you're gonna have those moments of drama, of decision making, when it all seems lost, when you seem at the darkest moment, and through that you will come through and conquer as a hero. It really is the embodiment of some of the greatest uh, action properties that we've ever seen in an interactive video game experience. Pre-order now at GameStop to get the Emperor's Elite Pack for free. Rated M for Mature.